Hey guys, so I run into this problem sometimes when I want to spin something on its axis. So for example, I want to turn these eyes a little bit inwards because right now it has that kind of doll effect because both of the pupils are sort of looking straight when they should really be looking more to a singular point. And right now they're just looking like straight, straight out. So I want to turn the eyeball on its axis. So in order to do that, I'm going to first select all the elements that make up my eyeball and I've trimmed it. I've uh, split it a, a few times. So I need to select all of my eye objects. If I try to turn it, if I try to make the eyes go a little bit inwards, it does this, which is not great. It's not what we want. So basically the easy way to do it is just hit solo, hit top so you know you're on the top and then hit pivot. And once you hit pivot, you can slide this back to about the middle. You wanna to try to hit the middle of the eye. Uh, it'd be nice if you can get a, it'd be nice if there was a way to know that you're exactly in the middle, but you just kinda of have to eyeball it. So then you tap pivot again, and I'll hit solo. So now the pivot point is in the middle of the eye. So now you can turn it and it's, a, it's way easier to work with. So now I can turn the eye a little bit and I'll just have to go and do the same thing with the other eye. That's what I use the pivot tool for. I don't use it that often, but when I need it, it comes in handy. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll catch you all in the next video. Oh, by the way, this is a, a manta ray. If you didn't already guess, just having some fun with it. He's got little teethies.